Hello, thank you for watching. My name is Thomas Mergle for Headbang or GTFO. Um, I just wanted to make this video because I feel like a little PSA uh, public service announcement needs to be made. I want to make this because I feel like parents really don't understand what goes on at a metal show. And uh, whenever they see that their 15-year-old is going to a show... Um, in the band sing songs like stripped raped and strangled and i come blood that they you know they're like uh ah, maybe i should research cannibal corpse and they find those song titles and they freak the fuck out and then they go to they go to a website and it's you know coincidentally talks about how they've been banned in germany and debauchery and everything happens at these kinds of shows um i just want to get this message out to parents everywhere i'm a parent myself and honestly um i would take my daughter to a couple of shows some death metal shows i wouldn't because she is only five but honestly if i could get some earbuds and take her to the amount of marth show that's coming up soon you bet your ass i'd take her because these shows are fun it's not about uh it's not about hey let's let's get violence uh, let's uh i mean moshing is going to happen headbanging is going to happen there's some crowd surfing that happens but for the most part i've been to well over 200 shows maybe close to 300 and violence rarely happens yes somebody may get bloodied in a mosh pit but that's because they fell into somebody's knee or something and usually the mentality is everyone's there to have a good time and if even within a violent mosh pit um people are still helping each other up there's still some sort of mentality to, to, to there's a bond there yeah we're shoulder checking the hell out of each other but if if i knock the other guy down i'm gonna reach down and offer my hand and pick him back up and that kind of thing happens there's tons of head banging that happens uh there may be some cussing here and there um but it usually is a pretty mellow set uh, in between uh, while the music's going it may get a little hectic i mean just within the mosh pit and being right up front but 95 percent of the crowd is pretty tame they're just there watching this show um i've never been to a show where violence has gotten to the point where like a knife or gun has been pulled um, rarely is there ever someone uh, that gets super drunk and th starts throwing punches. Um, I also want to say that um, in terms of like sexuality, no one's being molested or 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 there's not really like a everyone go out and touch some titties or something. Like there's not any like weird chanting or 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 hate speech happening um the most i've seen sexually was at a rob zombie show where you know and that's just rob zombie and the camera is facing the crowd and these chicks on their own accord and of age <laughs> rating from 20 till you know 50 i've seen this happen before and it only happens at rob zombie sh shows never will you go to well, i'm not going to say never but rarely will you go to a cattle decapitation show and women are stripping their tops off so I, I just want to point this out to parents that i mean let your kid go to a show hell go with them you might you might you may experience something you might like it too um just see be more educated on what they on what these shows are about uh be more educated on the music yes the music itself can be horrific and be terrible but these are generally just being inspired by real life stories like murderers or something like that i mean this is just entertainment this is the same kind of entertainment as you know i mean think about it this way why would you not let your kid or teenager go to a deicide show or um even, let's pick something lighter a romstein show but you would let them have the whole entire series on dvd of saw does that make does that make any sense? Why would you let your kid watch the entire Freddy vs. Jason series or anything that's like a slasher film or gore porn like Hostel or something or uh, what was what was that one that was terrible? The Human Centipede. Why would you? What, those are way worse, just way more worse than what you will ever see at a metal show. 
Uh, so black metal, death metal, doesn't matter. I've seen worse things at country music festivals. So, I mean, just for the parents, do a little bit more, little bit more reading. Don't just think that it's going to be just people cussing and shanks are going to happen and there's going to be just tits everywhere. And it is way more tame than that. It's way more civil than that. It's just there for four, three or four hours of just fun with the music. And, um... Uh, you know, every once in a while, maybe somebody will get too drunk and start acting like an ass. That person gets tossed out of the venue pretty quick, okay? So, um, attend a show, one or two, with your kid. Take him to see Slayer. Go see Slipknot. Go to Cannibal Corpse. Go to Abysmal Dawn. Uh, go to these shows and see for yourself how it is. That's all I wanted to say. I'm t I, I just it makes me feel so sad because it happened to me when I was 14. I wanted to go see Corn. I wanted to go see Corn live back in 1999. You know how awesome that would have been. And my mom said no. She wasn't familiar with that kind of music. She wasn't familiar with that kind of setting. But you know, 10 years later, she goes to a Motley Crue show and people are just taking their tits out left and right. And these are people in their 50s. God or older and it's just ridiculous so just because the music itself is heavy doesn't mean that the entire venue just erupts in debauchery and a gigantic blood orgy so um go with your teen go have fun do some research uh, i don't know how to end this exactly um yeah have a good day thank you for watching and uh kids teens if you want to share this video with your parents go ahead um i hope i got my point across and I hope I was, uh, you know, entertaining as well. <laughs> so thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.